the sun. A bright, hot sphere we see in the sky. What do we know and how do we know it? We know the sun is about 1.4 million kilometers in diameter. This is over a hundred times the diameter of the Earth. Because we've never traveled to the sun to measure it, we need to deduce its size indirectly. We know how big the sun appears to be in our sky, so we only need to know its distance to deduce its actual size. To this end, we use radio signals bouncing back from Venus to establish the scale of our solar system. Then we just use relative sizes of the orbit of Venus versus the size of the Sun to deduce the distance of the Sun. This is now enough information to deduce the size of the Sun. The mass of the Sun is over 300,000 times that of Earth. This we can calculate from knowing the Sun's gravity. The Sun's gravity can be deduced from the orbits of planets around it. Dividing the mass by the total volume of the Sun, we can calculate the average density. The average density of the Sun is relatively low less than one-third that of Earth. The Sun is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. These are the two lightest elements. One clue to the composition of the Sun is its low density. The more direct evidence is the spectrum of the Sun. The spectral lines most dominating the solar spectrum are that of hydrogen and helium. The surface temperature of the Sun is 5800 Kelvin. This can be deduced by its overall color. The law governing thermal emission will be discussed in another video. Our knowledge of the internal temperatures structure and source of power for the Sun will also be covered in videos explaining hydrostatic equilibrium and nuclear fusion.